the President of the United States. U.S. President Barack Obama has defended America's involvement in a military campaign against Colonel Muammar Gaddafi's regime in Libya in a televised address to the nation. Speaking to military officers and reporters at the National Defense University in Washington Monday night, Obama said he refused to wait for images of the slaughter of civilians before taking action. Some nations may be able to turn a blind eye to atrocities in other countries. The United States of America is different. And as president, I refuse to wait for the images of slaughter and mass graves before taking action. The U.S. took the initial lead in the Western-led military action against Gaddafi before NATO agreed to take over the operations. Obama said the U.S. will transfer control of NATO on Wednesday. In blunt terms, Obama said the Western-led air campaign had stopped Gaddafi's advances and halted a slaughter that could have shaken the stability of an entire region and stained the conscience of the entire world. In just one month, the United States has worked with our international partners to mobilize a broad coalition, secure an international mandate to protect civilians, stop an advancing army, prevent a massacre, and establish a no-fly zone with our allies and partners. However, he said that broadening the international mission to include regime change would be a mistake, and getting rid of Colonel Gaddafi may not happen overnight. If we tried to overthrow Gaddafi by force, our coalition would splinter. We would likely have to put U.S. troops on the ground to accomplish that mission, or risk killing many civilians from the air. Obama's challenge was to define the limited purpose and scope of the U.S. mission in Libya, for Americans preoccupied with domestic economic concerns and wary of costly wars in two other Muslim countries, Iraq and Afghanistan. In this particular country, Libya, at this particular moment, we were faced with the prospect of violence on a horrific scale. We had a unique ability to stop that violence, an international mandate for action, a broad coalition prepared to join us, the support of Arab countries, and a plea for help from the Libyan people themselves. Aaron Ocheng, Mark TV News.